Hello, my beautiful Reborn family. Welcome back to Southern Reborn's Nursery. I'm your beautiful host, Monica. And I know you just saw me. I know. I made a video changing Mr. Steven here. And now I wanted to change Mr. Elliot. You guys, doesn't he look like an Elliot? Like when I have him a girl, his name is Journey. But man, I can't get over how adorable this little man is as a little man. So he might be a little man for a little while. Because <laughs> he's just so cute. Look at his little outfit. And I had bought these for Levi when I had Levi. And they were too big for him. But they fit Elliot perfect. Look at this little man. He's a little stunner, you guys. Look at him. <laughs> he's adorable oh I'm still sick yeah because I made that last video like five minutes ago and I'm still sick you guys and <laughs> I was like whoa this is taking so much energy I didn't you don't realize how much energy something takes to do until you don't have the energy to do it and then it's like oh uh. so forgive me for looking rough <laughs> And for sounding rough and funny but my ears are clogged up and I just I don't know oh funny story real quick <laughs> before we get into the changing so I was chatting with my friend Christina the other night and um, <laughs> I put the TV on pause right because it sounded like somebody was breathing <laughs> right next to me I'm gonna cry it's so funny <laughs> it sounded like somebody was breathing right here and I'm like um <laughs> I muted the TV and I'm listening <laughs> you guys <laughs> it was me <laughs> my one clear nostril was <laughs> making a wheezing noise and I started laughing. I was laughing so hard. I was like, I just scared the little crap out of myself. And it was just me. <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, I can't. <laughs> Sorry. I know I'm crying because it's just so funny and I'm trying to like <laughs> scare myself oh <laughs> I was like dude I just scared myself <laughs> she got a good laugh out of it too <laughs> but yeah sorry look at me I look like a hot mess you guys uh but anyway <laughs> we're gonna change Mr. Elliot here and he's gonna be sporting this cute little Winnie the Pooh romper it's super adorable. This came with him in his box opening. So he hasn't worn it. Look. Laffy made my bags show even more, you guys. I am just so sick. So please pray for me because I'm sick. Sick, sick. And I feel bad, though, you know, like, that I'm not making content. um, Because I really want to grow my channel. And I feel like... You know, obviously, you have to make content in order to grow. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't like being sick. Um, not just for that purpose, but I, you know, I can't love on my kids and and my husband and stuff like that because I don't want them to feel the way that I feel. And I'm just over it already, you guys. I'm so over it. But anyway, oh. <laughs> Let me get the camera turned around and we'll get to changing Mr. Elliot. Okay, guys, we're back. And a channel that I would like to give a shout out to is Marisol's Doll Nursery. I'm sure most of you have heard of her, but if you have not, please go show my dolly sister some love. She's an amazing woman she's very giving and loving she's very caring um she's just an awesome human being and she um recently started another channel and that one's called harlem's 
homeless or Harlem's homeless angels is what it's called, I believe. And I'll make sure that I tag that um, in the description. And I'll also tag her doll channel, um, Marisol's Doll Nursery. You guys, she lives in Harlem, New York, or she lives in Manhattan, New York, in Harlem. And God has put it on her heart to feed the homeless, and that is what she's doing, you guys. She's out there doing it. She's She makes meals. I want to say that she feeds them once or twice a week. Um you know out of the you know out of the kindness of her heart you know she's she makes these amazing looking meals like i would pay 20 bucks for one of her plates of food <laughs> they look so good and i love puerto rican food by the way um i really do arroz con gandules is one of my favorite types of rice to eat if you've never had it and you're good in the kitchen google how to make it or if you happen to have a Puerto Rican friend who could make it for you, I suggest that you do so, you guys. And again, that's arroz con gandules. And it is my favorite. I love it. So anyway, <laughs> making me hungry. Um, you know, she feeds the homeless. She goes out there, her, her daughter and her brother, and they make um, a bunch of meals. And they walk around her neighborhood. And they hand out water and you know fruit and juice packets and um plates of food to the homeless and you know i cried on her last video um it really touched my heart because you know so many of us you know we know the horrors that go on in the world and you know a lot of us don't live in those types of areas where we see it firsthand. And, um, you know, when we watch TV or we watch movies or documentaries and we see these things going on in the world, you know, I know for me, you know, it breaks my heart to see these things. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, they chose to put themselves in that kind of lifestyle and, oh, they're choosing to live that way, you know? But we've all made mistakes. And who are we to judge? We're no one to judge. You know what I'm saying? We're not better than them. Why? Because we're we're not um, homeless or we're not doing drugs. That makes us better. No, it does not make us better. You know what I'm saying? It just means that we make different decisions. And all it takes for some of these people to get hooked is one time, you guys trying something one time and all of us have ch you know most of us have children um and all it takes is for them to experiment one time and they could be down that road they could be that person who's homeless they could be that person addicted and you know we're nobody to pass judgment on them and i think that it's an honorable thing that she's doing that she's going out there and feeding these people and i support her financially as much as I can. I do because I believe that it's a good cause and I think that um if I could do that, if I had, you know, if I lived in an area like that or if I, you know, had the time or whatever it is, I would love to do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But I I can't, but she can. And so I can help her to help them. You know. And I you know, I really hope that you guys will go over. I was going to take this onesie off, but I might leave it on. And, um, because I like my babies to have onesies under their clothes, but I didn't bring him one. So I think I'm going to leave this one on and just put the romper over. But anyway, you know, I think that what she's doing is noble and honorable. And I, I have so much respect for Marisol for doing what she's doing. And I hope that you guys will please go over and check out her channel right now she's having a um it's light it's a giveaway but you buy a spot it's um a five dollar donation is what she's asking and the donate the donations that she makes from the you know from the giveaway 
um, will go to her helping her feed the homeless. And um, you can go over and check out her latest video. Um, the name of the video is It's Giveaway Time. You can go over there and check that out and you can see all of the items that you will be receiving with the baby. She doesn't show the baby, which I think is pretty cool because how exciting is that? But she does show everything that comes with the baby. And, you know, all she's asking for is a $5 donation. And your name will be entered into the drawing. So please go over there and check her out. Again, that's Marisol's Dawn Nursery. The title of the video is It's Giveaway Time. So please go over there and support our sister and what she's trying to do. Um you know what God has put in her heart to do and the other channel her other channel is Harlem's homeless angels and I'll put both of those in the description um, I think that it's a great cause and um, if you can you know please donate and if you can't please like and comment on her video to show support for what she's doing I'm sure that she would greatly appreciate all of that. Look at my boy, you guys. He's so stinking cute. Say hi, aunties. Linda over at Linda's Romper Room, she loves my Elliot. Look at my boy. <laughs> He's so chunky, you guys. Look at those legs. Look at the chunk. Look at the feet. He is just beautiful he's a beautiful baby and you can't see it and I wish that you could but he has peach fuzz on his face he has so much detail this little boy has so much detail it's mind-blowing I love him the Elliot kit is a beautiful beautiful kit I love him my little chunky baby you guys already know that I like the big chunky babies so let me let's do a side comparison let's put Elliot right here and let's put Steven over here <laughs> and Elliot is so much bigger than Steven Steven looks like a little peanut compared to his brother but yeah so thank you for hanging out with me and for listening to my sickly voice and watching me laugh cry <laughs> um you guys when i get to 500 subscribers i'm gonna be doing a box a box opening giveaway that will be put together by um twinkle twinkle tempest reborns and that is going to be ordered this um coming week so that i can go ahead and get that in because as of this video we're at 308 and I know we can get there, you guys, when I get to 500 subscribers. I know you guys can help me get there. And when I reach 1,000, we will be doing a reborn baby giveaway. And somebody will receive a beautiful brand new from the artist reborn and a box opening along with the baby. So thank you guys again. I'm going to be praying for all of you. Please check out my girl Marisol. Um, and yeah, please like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.